How deep do concrete piers need to be? If you're planning to build a shed, deck, or any other structure that requires a solid foundation, you're probably wondering how deep those concrete piers need to be. Let's break it down to ensure your project is stable and long-lasting. First, the depth of concrete piers is heavily influenced by your location, specifically the local frost line. In colder climates, the sole freezes during winter, which can cause the sole to expand and contract. To prevent this from destabilizing your structure, the piers must extend below the frost line. For example, in southern coastal areas, the frost line might be just 10 inches deep, but in northern inland states, it can be over 48 inches deep. Soil conditions also play a significant role. If you're building on stable soils like gravel or sand, you might get away with shallower piers. However, if you're dealing with weaker soils like clay or silt, which tend to shift and expand with moisture changes, you'll need to dig deeper to reach more stable strata. For a typical shed foundation, it's a good rule of thumb to extend the piers at least 12 inches below the local frost line. This could mean piers that are 24, 36, or even 48 inches deep, depending on where you live. For instance, in the Northeast USA, a standard depth for shed foundation piers is 36 inches. When it comes to decks, the depth is similar. You should aim for piers that are at least 36 inches below the finished grade to prevent frost heave and ensure stability. This is especially important if you're building in areas with heavy snowfall, where deeper footings might be necessary. To ensure your piers are correctly placed and deep enough, you should also consider the slope of your site. Use tools like a laser level to measure the grade and adjust the pier depths accordingly. This will help you level the structure and prevent any unevenness. In summary, the depth of your concrete piers depends on the frost line in your area and the type of sole you're building on. Always check local building codes and consult with professionals if you're unsure. By extending your piers below the frost line and considering sole conditions, you'll build a foundation that's stable and durable.